This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 972, How Protein at Breakfast Can Help You Lose Weight, by Freitas Hallman's Daughter, with Healthline.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Tuesday, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more, just like an audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors, and always with permission from the sites. And on Fridays, I do something a little different. That's where I answer the questions you've sent me. You can send one in at oldpodcast.com slash ask. Now, I'm excited to read to you from today's author because they're affiliated with healthline.com. And what I particularly appreciate about healthline.com is that any claims they make are backed by scientific studies. So with that, let's hear today's article and continue optimizing your life. How Protein at Breakfast Can Help You Lose Weight by Freitas Hallmer's Daughter with Healthline.com. Protein is a key nutrient for weight loss. In fact, adding more protein to your diet is the easiest and possibly most effective way to lose weight. Studies show that protein can help curb your appetite and keep you from overeating. Therefore, starting your day with a high-protein breakfast may be an effective weight loss tip. Should you eat breakfast? In the past, skipping breakfast has been associated with weight gain. We now have good evidence showing that recommendations to eat or skip breakfast have no effect on weight gain or weight loss. However, eating breakfast may be a good idea for other reasons. For example, it may improve mental performance in school children and teenagers, but this may also depend on the quality of the breakfast. Even if the stereotypical breakfast, like a high-sugar breakfast cereal, has no effect on weight, a breakfast that is high in weight loss friendly protein may have different effects. Bottom line Recommendations to eat or skip breakfast may not have a strong effect on body weight. However, the same may not apply to a high protein breakfast. How protein helps you lose weight. Protein may be the single most important nutrient for weight loss. This is because the body uses more calories to metabolize protein when compared to fat or carbs. Protein also keeps you feeling fuller for longer. One study performed in women showed that increasing protein intake from 15 to 30% of total calories for the day helped them eat 441 fewer calories per day. They also lost about 11 pounds, or 5 kilograms, in just 12 weeks. Another study found that increasing protein to 25% of one's total calories for the day reduced late night snacking by half and also reduced obsessive thoughts about food by about 60%. In yet another study, two groups of women were put on weight loss diets for 10 weeks. The groups then ate the same amount of calories, but different amounts of protein. All the women in the study lost weight. However, the high protein group lost about a half a kilogram or about 1.1 pounds more and a larger percentage of body fat. Protein may also help you maintain weight loss in the long term. A study found that increasing protein from 15 to 18% of one's total calories for the day made dieters regain 50% less weight. Bottom line, adding protein to your diet may be an effective way to lose weight. It may also help dieters sustain long-term weight loss. High-protein breakfasts help you eat less later. Many studies are examining how protein at breakfast affects eating behavior. Some of them have shown that high-protein breakfasts reduce hunger and help people eat up to 135 fewer calories later in the day. In fact, MRI scans have shown that eating a protein-rich breakfast reduces the signals in the brain that control food motivation and reward-driven behavior. Protein also helps you feel full. This is because it activates the body's signals that curb appetite, which reduces cravings and overeating. This is mostly due to a drop in the hunger hormone ghrelin, and a rise in the fullness hormones like peptide YY, GLP-1, and cholecystokinin. Several studies have now demonstrated that eating a high-protein breakfast changes these hormones throughout the day. Bottom line, high-protein breakfasts reduce calorie intake later in the day. They improve the levels of your appetite-regulating hormones, which may lead to reduced hunger and reduced cravings. How protein at breakfast helps you lose weight and possibly belly fat. High-protein breakfasts can reduce appetite and cravings. They may also help you lose belly fat. 
Dietary protein is inversely related to belly fat, meaning the more high-quality protein you eat, the less belly fat you have. A study performed in China on obese teens showed that replacing a grain-based breakfast with an egg-based meal led to significantly more weight loss over three months. The higher protein breakfast group lost 3.9% of their body weight, about 2.4 kilograms or 5.3 pounds, while the lower protein group lost only 0.2% or 0.1 kilograms or 0.2 pounds of their body weight. In another study, people on a weight loss program received either an egg breakfast or a bagel breakfast with the same amount of calories. After eight weeks, those eating the egg breakfast had a 61% higher reduction in their body mass index, 65% more weight loss, and a 34% greater reduction in waist measurements. Bottom line, eating protein for breakfast can lead to significant weight loss, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose. Protein may slightly boost your metabolism. Speeding up your metabolism can help you lose weight, and it makes you burn more calories. Your body uses more calories to metabolize protein, about 20 to 30%, when compared to carbs, which is about 5 to 10%, or fat, which is 0 to 3%. This means you burn more calories by eating protein when compared to eating carbs or fat. In fact, higher protein intakes have been shown to result in an extra 80 to 100 calories burned each day. A high-protein diet can also help prevent muscle loss during calorie restriction and partly prevent the reduction in metabolism that often comes with weight loss, which is sometimes referred to as starvation mode. Bottom line, a high-protein intake has been shown to boost metabolism by up to 100 calories per day. It can also help you maintain muscle mass and a high metabolism when you restrict calories. Which high-protein foods should you eat for breakfast? In short, eggs. Eggs are incredibly nutritious and high in protein. Replacing a grain-based breakfast with eggs has been shown to help you eat fewer calories for the next 36 hours and lose more weight and possibly body fat. However, fish, other seafood, meat, poultry, and dairy products are also great sources of protein to include for breakfast. Here are a few examples of high-protein breakfasts that can help you lose weight. Scrambled eggs with veggies cooked in olive oil. Or an omelet with cottage cheese and spinach, my personal favorite. Stir-fried tofu with kale and regular or dairy-free cheese. And Greek yogurt with wheat germ, seeds, and berries. Bottom line, eggs make a great high-protein breakfast. However, other high-protein breakfast foods are also good choices. If you eat breakfast, make it high in protein. If you do choose to eat breakfast, eat one that is rich in protein. The protein content of the breakfast meals in the studies above range from 18 up to 41% of one's daily calories, with at least 20 total grams of protein. You just listened to the post titled, How Protein at Breakfast Can Help You Lose Weight, by Freitas Hallmarsdotter with Healthline.com. And thank you to BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers online counseling and therapy with licensed therapists from wherever you are and around your schedule. They have counselors specializing in depression, stress, anxiety, self-esteem, anger, grief, and so much more. Therapy can help improve your life in many different ways. We've heard it right here on this show a bunch of times. BetterHelp makes it super convenient in that there are four communication modes, text, chat, phone, and video, and available worldwide. You can start communicating in under 24 hours. Anything you share is confidential, and it's not a crisis line. This is professional counseling and therapy with licensed therapists, but actually affordable, with financial aid available. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option. Optimal Health Daily listeners get 10% off your first month with discount code OHD. So why not get started today? Go to betterhelp.com OHD. Simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with a counselor you'll love. That's betterhelp.com slash OHD. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. All right, so here's my bottom line. After working with many, many patients on weight management, weight loss, trying to lose body fat, what I've found over and over is that people often either skip breakfast altogether or their breakfast consists of something that's high in refined carbohydrates like a sugary cereal. Now, what we're learning from other studies is that 
Breakfast is also a good time of the day to not only get protein, but to get in some dietary fiber. So why not combine the two? So you could still have your omelet or stir-fried tofu, but on the side, you could add like a whole grain slice of bread or a whole grain English muffin, something like that. That fiber will also help you feel a little bit more full throughout the day. Now, if you're already adding veggies to your breakfast, those are great sources of fiber too. So if you are making an omelet and you're tossing in lots of veggies, Well, in that case, you're probably good when it comes to your fiber intake. Oh, and one thing that I'll mention about eggs, if you have an underlying health condition like heart disease or stroke, or if that runs in your family, then you may want to cut back on your whole egg consumption. Yes, I know that there's some debate about this. So double check with your doctor to make sure that eating one whole egg a day, so we're talking about the white and the yolk, is okay for you. All right, that's it for me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening every day. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. I hope you're staying safe and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.